Hello, Scorpios. I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. In the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that someone just, you guys had a very strong psychic connection and it was just, it was too strong to break. It's like if, if they tried to break it, you would come through in their dreams or they would just pick up on your energy or they would, you know, you guys would bump into each other or they, you know, there was a lot of synchronicity that they just couldn't really ignore. Let's see what's going on now. Cold, guarded, distrusting, ex, the past, sex, and seduction. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom. So ending this energy, getting, you know, freeing yourself of this energy. Um, maybe doing some cut and clear work even. Choosing a path. One path leads to sadness. What does the other path lead to? The other path leads to a love offer, to commitment to happiness, to warmth, to light, you know? It's like you've been nostalgic for this situation that might be over with. Um, I think you have, you have a love offer coming in. And you have something really abundant here. This could have been a sexual relationship with this ex, um, someone that was kind of cold, guarded, distrusting. It might not... I mean, this could it be somebody where it was, like, mostly sexual with them. Like, you wanted it to be more, and they were just kind of using you for sex, or it was just, like, lust. They weren't really um, giving you the kind of connection that you wanted. I feel like it could also just be, like, a general energy of, you know, someone who's kind of defensive. Somebody who's... It's like not committing, you know what I mean? Someone who's kind of keeping it in the shallow end. And you're, you're ending, you've ended or you're currently ending this pattern though. This could also be a pattern that you had with um, like sexuality or with not, maybe not being, I see it as like lust. It's like, and now you're being more real and authentic kind of is what is the energy that I get here, if that makes sense. But um but yeah, whatever the story is, it's like you're ending this pattern here. And you have this person that's spying on you. This person who's sad over you, who's missing you now, wanting to have their cake and eat it too. It'd be like kind of stalking your social media. And it looks like you're going to be choosing between two people, which is a common energy that I keep getting for um, the people that I channel on, that I've been channeling on here. And I hate it when my guides do this because it makes it so complicated. I feel like there's two different stories here. <laughs> it's irritating when they do that because it always makes it kind of confusing. So for some of you, your ex is the one that you have this deep connection with that you had, um, you know, you'd come through their dreams or, or vice versa. Uh, there was a deep psychic connection and they kind of tried to just make it sexual or they tried to just you know, take things at like a shallow surface level. Like maybe the psychic stuff freaked them out a little bit and they didn't understand it or they just didn't want to get so deep. And, you know, now you're ending this pattern with them and you're like, okay, if you don't want to accept and embrace how strong our love is, if you don't want to embrace the deep psychic connection here, I don't want to do this to myself forever. If you're not going to embrace this, if you're going to keep trying to, you know, sabotage this and... And just not understand what it what it really means, then I'm I'm gonna end this pattern here. And now that you've done that, it's like this person is spying on you, this person is sad, nostalgic, missing you, wanting to come back in. Then you have this new love that's gonna get that's gonna wanna come in and give you everything you deserve. For others, I think it's actually it's the roles are reversed. For others, 
I think that this is a new love interest that has caught your attention and it's just lust and you're kind of wanting it to be more, but it's not. And um, the old person is your actual true love that's coming back around. I think you'll know what the story is though. I think for a lot of you, a lot of you, this is probably your ex though. For a lot of you, this is probably your ex. And it's like they just weren't willing to fully embrace the psychic nature of this connection. Like they couldn't let you go, um, but they couldn't fully commit either. So they just like kind of kept you in their life, kind of kept you on like a shallow surface level. But yeah, now they're spying, I feel. Now they're sad, and they're nostalgic and missing you. Then you have this new love coming in. Um, and you're going to have to choose the path, basically. You know, you have happiness, warmth, light here. You have somebody who would be more committed to you. I get a couple cards to clarify the rest of this reading. Hope, anticipation, bright prospects, wish. Courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. So they're kind of partner you've been manifesting for yourself. Thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession. Okay. Maybe it's like almost like an addiction with this other person. That you know that you want someone who's more stable and grounded. It's just breaking this pattern. Okay, show me. Show me the X. Show me the new person. Soulmate, past life connection, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Someone who is more respectful. I kind of get the energy with the ex that it's someone who kind of disrespected you, maybe like in a sexual way or maybe just, just not, I don't know. Like it just wasn't the, like I don't think you got the feeling you wanted to get from them. You know what I mean? It's like you didn't feel beautiful and you didn't, you couldn't be in your, your true energy with them completely. Lots of pride and stubbornness with this ex. Okay, show me the new person though. Show me the new person. Yeah, taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Past life connection here. Choosing their words wisely. I see this as more like, look at these two characters. It's like more of like a gentleman and a lady. You know what I mean? It's like more soft, more respectful somebody that would like open the card someone who kind of old-fashioned someone that would open the car door for you someone that would pay when you guys go out to eat somebody that would um I don't know I just get like I get with the sex card I get that some of them kind of just treated you like they're slut honestly and it's like that's not what you are but they just kind of it's kind of like they just they had love they had real love they had a real psychic connection right in front of them and they were overwhelmed by it and it's like they tried to degrade it and turn it into something that was easier for them to understand or make it just sexual or make it just you know pretending like it's just casual when they know that it could be so much more than that that it is so much more than that it's like somebody having you know dreams about you and and feeling this deep bond but then you know calling you up for a one night stand or or casually saying like oh hey sorry I've been busy at work all day you know not really like being affectionate or romantic, kind of just playing it cool all the time, which you know it gets that gets old after a while. Or this some this is person is is more, I don't know, just more stable, more res like this new love is it's more stable, more respectful. Like you kind of see these two characters. It's like very see, she's like very proper. She's like very like I don't know. You feel that energy from her and from him too. Could also be male, male relationships and female, female relationships, whatever your story is. This applies to everybody, but it's like she's elegant, she's classy, and this person sees you as, you know, beautiful and, and classy and elegant, whereas this other person just kind of 
degraded you in a sense. I don't know if it was sexual or not. It's just some kind of sense that it's like, it wasn't that old fashioned kind of true love romance that you were wanting. You know what I mean? Hmm. There might be some miscommunication with the ex too. Maybe they felt rejected or you felt rejected and it was really just shyness or it's like they want to be loyal. They want, I don't even know how to explain that energy. It's such a weird, like unstable back and forth kind of energy. I almost wonder with the ex if it's like <laughs> they... <laughs> They weren't willing to commit, but they didn't want anybody else to have you. I almost wonder if it's like one of those situations. Because I'm trying to figure out what this, trying to figure out three, three, three cards. It's such a strange combination. I almost wonder if it's like when they want to be loyal and they want stability and, you know, it's, it's all about what they want. You know what I mean? It's like they can kind of treat you like you're just some, like a, you know, a sex toy or whatever. Like you're just someone that they have a casual thing with and they don't want to really get tied down. It's just you know, come in and out, whatever. But then when they're in this romantic energy of, you know, wanting to be loyal and grounded and you're like, what the hell? You know, it's like, they're then they're angry. Then there's like miscommunication. It's like, or they like expect you to be psychic and figure out what, I don't know, like they expect you to be psychic and like figure things out on your own, figure out what they're feeling without them saying it. It's just a weird energy, but there could be some fear of rejection there on their end. But it's still just like, do you really want, I don't know if you want that. I don't know about that. I feel like the new love would be better. But you know what your story is. I think you know who the right person for you is. What action will the ex most likely be taking over the next few weeks? towards you open honest communication message you know wanting to message you but again are they going to message and be yeah manipulation deception like seduction this is like look at that look at how this energy is being seductive of this other energy and like blindfolding them you know what i mean and i see this as like a very sexual kind of energy here too it's almost like yeah they're they're messaging you but are they messaging you asking for a one night stand are they messaging you and being casual and saying, hey, how's it going? It's like, I think you wanted the romance and you weren't really getting it from this person. It's like, you wanted that like old fashioned kind of, I don't know if old fashioned is the right word, but just someone like respectful of you. Someone that you can be in this energy with, that you can just feel beautiful around. And it's like, you didn't feel that with this person, I don't think. You just felt kind of like used kind of like you weren't good enough. It's just some kind of, it's like they brought out your insecurities. You know what I mean? Where it's like this person would bring out your confidence more. So it's like, yes, I think your ex is this or whatever this person is. I think he is, he or she is wanting to, um, to message and communicate, but I still see it being, I see the message being kind of manipulative and deceptive. Like, not like a romantic message, just like, Hey, do you want to hook up? Or, Hey, you know, how is it going? Like, how is it going, bro? It's like, really? Can you? Can you be romantic? Can you say, hey, I missed you, baby, or hey, you know, something. And it's like, they don't give you that, I don't think. You know what I mean? It's like, they're just so casual and it's so, you have to fight to try to figure out what they're feeling. And then they get mad at you because you can't figure out what they're feeling. It's like, really? Really? Yeah, fast moving energy. Publicity, social media. It might be stock in your social media. Show me the new love. I think that's better. I think that's better, actually. <laughs> Hidden truth. What is this hidden truth? I think you're coming out of the stagnation and complacency. I feel like that hidden truth is like reconnecting with that feeling of being beautiful and mysterious and enchanting, you know, being in your feminine energy or your masculine energy, um, feeling like yourself again, feeling wanted. I feel like you lost it with that other person. Like you lost that part of yourself a little bit to them. You know what I mean? It's like you just didn't. 
it's like this feeling of like this icky feeling of being used or this icky feeling of like not being wanted sort of, you know what I mean? It's like with this person, it's like more old fashioned and old fashioned in the right ways. I'm not talking old fashioned, like get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich kind of energy. I don't mean that. I mean, old fashioned is in like opening the car door for you. Um, telling you, you look beautiful, you know, giving you good morning texts, um, you know, apologizing for, for working late instead of just, you know, casually like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, I feel like this person had no class. This other person had no class at all. And this person is more elegant with their words, I think. They're more of like a gentleman type or, or you know, or lady type, whatever, whatever that's, whatever your preferred gender is. But, um, yeah, that's, that's what I get. So, yeah, so you got some choices to make here. Again, when this message comes in, though, think twice about it. Because do you really want to feel this way again? Or do you want somebody who's going to make you feel beautiful and, and, um, and just gentle and wanted? You know what I mean? Like, what kind of energy do you want to be in? So, thank you guys for watching. And if this resonates, I do have some reading specials going on. So, it's for January. It's $40 for a 30-plus minute reading. Or it is $5 for five pendulum questions. And if it resonates, go ahead and subscribe, like, share. My contact info is below. So thank you for watching.